Hey guys, welcome to a new video. It is the second day from us loader season. I wasn't able to get back in time uh, yesterday for opening day. So today's my first day and it's starting out pretty slow actually. I went to one of my better spots that I usually see both white tails and muleys and I haven't even seen a deer yet, which is pretty weird. So I don't know what's going on here yet. So. I've just been glassing for probably about an hour now. Hopefully I can go, I'm gonna go move different spots and hopefully maybe find some muleys or something, so. Sweet bull moose right there. Look, I had a drop time on its left side. I can't see it from this far though. Hey guys, welcome to a new morning. Today is morning two, and I just hiked up this really steep ridge to get up on top of here. And it's just now getting shooting light. I've got four deer spotted over here that I think are just does, from what I can tell now. But still got a lot of glassing to do, and it's, the wind really isn't my favorite where I was wanting to go. The wind's kind of blowing towards, so I'll have to figure out a new game plan there, but just wanted to update you guys. And I'll turn around and show you guys these deer. just got to this new glassing point where I can see a big bowl and everything and I've I spooked out three deer right when I got here because the wind's not good so I don't know I may have to just back out of here for now because there's no way I could get on something if anything was in front of me I could probably just loop and hunt my way back but I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do but it started to rain so probably gonna head over here into the trees so my muzzleloader doesn't get soaked or anything and yeah hopefully see a buck here soon just everything's been dozed so far so I'll get back with you later I think I got a little shed spotted up over here yeah just a little guy though been here for a couple years <laughs> a little tiny one Sweet. Better than nothing right now.
go-to meal today was salmon, applesauce, Rice Krispie Treat, and granola bar. I love these uh, smoked salmon in cans. They're really good. At least I got a little bit of something going for me. Another old shed. This one's really old. That one's been there for a long time. A little bit of a consolation prize. There's a spike in this group, and that is the only buck I've seen in the last two days, which is not good. I got tomorrow morning to go. Hopefully, I'm gonna try somewhere different and find one, and and then I gotta head back to school, get some classwork done. Then I'll be back, hopefully, in two or three days to try to finish off this muzzleloader season and find something. Hopefully, it's it's raining right now, so hopefully this weather will get some stuff moving. Hey guys, welcome to day three now. I've been sitting up here on this ridge for about 45 minutes now. And I have not seen a deer anywhere on the same um, side of the highway that I'm on. And I've spotted three does that are like maybe a mile and a half over on the other side of the highway, like two roads away. But they look like does anyway, so. Yeah, I don't know. This area wasn't quite what I thought because they have a bunch of cows in here right now. So everything's been hit pretty hard. So I don't know if that moved the deer around a little bit or what. But either way, these last three days have been very slow. It's not, not been good. So I got to head back later today. Go get some schoolwork done. And then I'll be back in two days to try to finish up the season and find a buck somewhere I'm thinking next time I might just have to just go start hitting random spots that I never have before try to find something new because all the spots that I've seen bucks in the past aren't producing guys as you just saw in that one video I just spotted a buck um, I'm not 100% sure if he's legal or not but uh, I'm gonna go down here uh, just a little ways and see if I can get a different angle and get a little bit closer and see what he's moving he's following a doe pretty hard actually already and it's still September um, must just be a hot doe or something but um, yeah she's moving down so I'm gonna go down a little ways and see if I can find them again. That buck did end up being legal. He did have an eye guard, but um, I just don't feel like shooting one. 
like that right now. I think I'm going to wait, come back next weekend and see if I can hopefully find a bigger one. If not, I mean, I need the meat and everything, but I'd rather shoot a little bit bigger one than a two and a half year old deer or whatever. So at least I'm just glad I finally saw a legal buck because that was, that was bad. That was pretty, pretty slow. But so at least I know where a legal buck is. If I, if he's still here, I don't know where he came from because I've been in this general area the last couple of days and hadn't seen him. So he might be here, he might not. But at least I know there are some deer in the area now and hopefully more will move in as the weather keeps cooling. So I'll be back in two days and I'll try to find another buck. That's a legal buck right there. guys welcome back it is now friday and i left here on tuesday and i finally just found a legal buck down here um he just went into a draw so i can't see him but i think i'm gonna try to go after him i'm not sure exactly how i want to do it yet but i'm just excited to finally found something legal that's kind of decent so I'm going to keep watching for a minute, see if I can watch where he goes, and then I'll make a game plan and let you guys know. Okay guys, I decided to cut the distance a little bit to try to get a little bit closer, get a better look. It's going to be hard, it's so open right here to where he is, but I'm going to have to make a move to try to get, try to get a little bit closer.
guys, I, that happened last. But I just popped over this draw, and he was in here. There's a little floor though, but my rangefinder isn't working right now. That was a problem. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, my rangefinder isn't working. That's, that sucks. I don't know if it needs a new battery or what, but so I just shot at this buck and I don't I don't know how far it was. And I'm not hundred percent sure on the hit. It didn't go down right away, so I don't know if I hit him or not. I'm gonna try to get up here and see if I can find him again. Hey guys, I just dropped this buck up here. So I don't think I hit him on that first shot, the longer shot, but then I walked up here and this doe was like 25 yards from me. And I was like, what the heck? And she was with that buck. And then I was like looking around and all of a sudden he popped out behind a tree. He ain't the biggest in the world, but I need meat for college. So I'm stoked. like a good one. I'll turn around when I get up here. Alright guys, here he is. A little four by three. Heck yeah. I can't believe that worked. I spotted him from so far away. Oh, that's awesome. Hit him in the neck, but did the job. Sweet. It's pretty wide, actually. Decent buck for sure. Definitely take that. I'm stoked. Oh, that's awesome. Hey guys, hopefully you can see this. But there, there he is. Not a bad buck. Pretty wide actually. But yeah, I'm stoked. I definitely needed to get a little meat for school. And this will work for sure. Yeah, he's a pretty awesome deer. He's gonna be a good eater. That's gonna be the best part. All right, guys, I got some pictures taken and some more video and gonna get them cleaned up. And then I got my dad and my grandpa coming in too to help me get them out of here. So they'll be here in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I thought I'd show you how it went down since I didn't do a great job videoing. So I, this morning, was sitting up there on that knob. I spotted the buck coming across down over here, through here, and then he was actually moving pretty good through these trees. And so I bailed off from up there, ran down here, came down and got on the downside of him because the wind was blowing this way. And I was walking over here and then there was some does that were on the back side of this and all of a sudden I look and he's standing right here by this tree and I'm down there and he has a doe with him and so then I just drop everything and book it really fast over here and then try to range him and it wasn't working so I shot at him from here and he was up here in this area and it, it looked like I actually hit him. He did like a little hop, but I must have gone right under him or something. Must have been farther than I thought. I don't know. I have my rangefinder right here if it works now. 
Yeah, it's not working. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that wasn't bad. So that was only like 150. Um, and yeah, so then I reloaded and ran up here, looked for blood real quick. And then I was walking, I looked over here and I was walking this way. And then all of a sudden I'm like right here. And then there's a doe. Yeah, I was like right here. I went right past this tree. Yeah, so I'm walking right here and all of a sudden there's a doe standing literally like right here at like 18 yards. And I look and then that buck pops out behind this tree right there and then that's where I shot him and he dropped. So that was just crazy how it actually worked out. So here they come. Well guys, I just got back to the truck now, got it loaded up, and then I'm gonna head and go get it scanned out real quick. It's a little warm today, but it ain't bad. It's like 50-ish, so um, go get it and get it all processed and everything. And yeah, I'm stoked. And thanks you guys for watching. It was a tough video at the beginning. Wasn't seeing a lot, and then happened to come across that buck today, which was awesome. Glad to put some meat in the freezer. And definitely needing some, so and he isn't a bad buck either. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. It means a lot to us. And See you on the next video.